All right, so this is just going to be a super short, quick video on how to upgrade the RAM or the hard drive to an SSD on this Acer Aspire E5-576 series, model number N16Q2, all right? So there's just three screws here that we're going to remove. All right. And of course, you want to make sure that your computer is off, all right? I'll double check, but it should be off already. Yep. All right. So after that, after you remove the three screws, just get underneath this little corner piece here and then just pull this up. You might have to kind of go over to the side to make it easier to lift up. All right. Just like this. All right. There we go. So here you can see there's a two and a half inch SATA hard drive slot here. Um, I don't know if there's supposed to be a caddy, but... Um, if you do put the hard drive here, then you want to be careful. Make sure to put something to keep the hard drive from moving around. Maybe some foam paddings or something if it's not a secure fit. Because it looks like, let me show you here. So we got a SATA hard drive here. So if I were to put this in, you see there's so much empty space. So not only that, but this thing can kind of move up and down. So it's a little bit risky. The least you'll want to do is put some kind of foam here to keep the hard drive pushed into the slot here. All right, so I'm going to take this back out. We're going to leave that. All right, so there's an M.2. Uh, this looks like a SATA. Let's pull this out using the PH1 or JS1 screwdriver. Huh, somebody messed this thing up down here. So I'm going to have to use some pliers because it looks like... Um, the thing is actually loose, so this video isn't going to be as short as I thought. Alright, so I'm going to get some pliers. And there's actually a bolt under here that you want to... It's not supposed to be spinning around, so I'm going to hold that while I remove this. There we go. And that's how it should be. And then we can pull this um, SSD or hard drive out. Okay. This is an M.2 SATA SSD, so I don't know if this will support PCIe NVMe, but it's definitely this using a SATA right now. Okay, I'm going to tighten this bolt in there. And there's actually these connectors here. I think this is the keyboard connector and the trackpad connector. So if for some reason your keyboard and trackpad aren't working, you might want to see if those are somehow loose. But yeah, I don't know why they make them exposed right there. It's kind of strange. All right, then to put this back, you gotta put it at an angle like this in the slot, and then get it lined up and just push it in, okay? Make sure it's in. Okay, there we go. Then we'll put this screw back down. All right, so this laptop only had a uh, one stick of RAM here, and let me, open it up and check what type it is for you. Let me put my tools away real quick, sorry. Okay. All right, so let's see here. So this stick of RAM, just push these two tabs to the side, it'll pop up, you can slide this out. Let me actually zoom in so you can see a little bit better because you don't need to see the whole laptop. And this is an eight gig PC3L 12800S. So you can put any size RAM as long as it's PC3L12800S. So we're going to put another 8 gig stick. All right. Um, and they do have a 16 gig stick, but the last time I checked, it was like $200 for that one stick. So I don't think it would be worth it. Um, it's up to you. I don't know if the laptop will actually support two 16 gig sticks. If you really want that much RAM, you can buy it but i would recommend buying a new computer at that point because you can buy ddr4 memory for much cheaper all right so here we go we got the other stick of ram it's a different brand but here you can see ddr 3l they do 1600 that's the megahertz so instead of putting the number but um yeah so that's the speed rating instead of the other thing all right so we'll just put the ram in like that and then we'll just snap it back down and there we go. Then we'll just put this cover back on. You want to put the bottom in first because that's what came out last. And basically just everything in reverse. So we'll snap over to this side and there we go. All right, so we're going to put this back together and everything should work as is with the additional RAM. Um, the one thing to know is when you add more RAM, it adds a page file like 
the size of the RAM. So it will extend that file. And that's a hidden file on the computer. And that's for when your computer crashes, it keeps a space to dump the RAM. So just know that whatever size you increase your RAM, it's gonna take up that much space on your um, hard drive as well, okay? And this thing I think only has a 256 gig hard drive. So yeah, that's kind of eating up another eight gigs. All right, so we're gonna turn it back on and we'll see it should come up the screen. If the screen doesn't come up, then we might have to take the RAM out and it might be having some issues. Is it charged? Okay, I do see the keyboard lit up, so it should be on, and there we go. So it's very likely gonna be creating the page file right now. That's why it's taking so long to start up. But anyways, hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right, wait, is it starting up? Did the battery die? Okay, so there you go. It actually did start up. Okay, I'm just going to shut it down, but that's it. All right, see you guys.